Welcome back into another tutorial continuing our racing game series and uh, I got a new car in here and uh, the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and download the file down in the video description and the file will contain these scripts so um, so down in the description you should have a camera controller a car controller and the inputs so this wheels manager uh, I'm still kind of working on it so after you do that you're gonna have to get the camera controller attach it obviously to a camera the car controller attach it to your car and the car controller should work something like this so you can set the wheel drive you can set the torque well this is the the configuration and don't mind the wheel manager for now so the inputs has nothing so you just drop the inputs and don't forget to tag your player as player so the camera can attach to the player this is the camera position you don't have to worry about that and don't forget to use a focus point for your camera you can just not use a camera at all so you can just drop your camera back into your car and it should work something like this so you can play the game remember we don't have a camera controller so this is working just on its own and the car should move something like this so we have our gears, we have our torque, we have our everything in here. Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is introduce our very first power-up for our game. So obviously, we're going to make the game using power-ups. We're going to have shields, we're going to have attacking modes, and etc, etc. So the first thing that we're going to do is the nitrous. So back into our car, we are going to introduce some new scripts. So back into our scripts folder we're going to make the engine and we're going to create a new c -sharp script called powerups so the powerups will work something like this so we're going to have our powerups will which will manage every single power up that we throw it so up here we are going to have powerups and uh, to control our powerups and stay as organized as we can be we are going to create another folder containing these powerups so we're going to Actually, no, let's create a folder instead of a script. So let's call it power ups. Into the power ups, we are going to create a new C -sharp script and we're going to name it nitrous. So here's our nitrous. We're going to take the nitrous, we're going to open it. Okay, so what the nitrous will do is very, very simple. The nitrous should have a reference to our car, our player, and it should have a reference to the main camera. The reason for that is because we obviously want to boost our car so we can add some power to the car and the second reason is because we want to change the field of view so every time we click the power button or the boost button the field of view should do something like this and then return to normal so it gives the feeling that we are boosting so back into our nitrous what we're going to do is take these references so instead of taking these references in here, what we can do is take them as a object. So here is the nitrous and what we can do is we can pass it values. So in here we can use this nitrous and we can say public nitrous takes in parameters. So what parameter will the nitrous take? The first parameter is the car game object. So this car and we need to pass the car object from the power apps which we're going to handle later so the first thing is obviously a game object so game object car and the second one is the camera so we can pass it as a camera or we can pass it as another game object but we're going to pass it as a camera so we're going to say camera and camera okay so the first thing that we want to do with the car is obviously boost it and that is very simple so from the car, we need another component, which is this rigid body, which is going to handle the boosting. So let's handle that first. And let's say car. Actually, no, we first need to say rigid body R is equal to car dot get component rigid body. There we go. Now we have a rigid body and then R dot add explosive force force relative torque. We just want to focus to this force. So there is a number of forces, force mode and mode in here. So before we add force, we need a vector or a direction. For the direction, we are going to use this car and we're going to say car dot transform dot forward. There we go. We can just leave it like this or 
we can add the amount of force we want. So the amount of force we want is going to be variable, obviously. So we're going to add another int in here or a float. Let's add it a float and let's say boost force. Let's use this boost force in here. There we go times boost force. So this is only going to execute once and we are going to make sure that we execute this once over at the power up. Okay, this is the script so far. We have a very simple rigid body and a very simple add force. So the problem in here is that we are using this constructor and we're literally filling it up with these values. That's the first mistake that we're doing in here. The second one is that we're using a mono behavior when we cannot use a mono behavior. So let's just use it as a normal script. Now we have a normal script and we don't have to have it as a object somewhere in our scene. So we can just spawn it whenever we want. The third problem that we're going to have in here is that we're going to use a camera. So for now, we don't want a camera. So let's just delete the camera. So we have a car, which is a transform or a game object. And we have the boost force. So let's create a constructor real quickly. Let's say public nitrous and empty parameter, obviously. And for the boost function, let's rename this nitrous into boost. Okay, now our script is almost complete. Let's just add a void in here because this is a method, obviously. And let's save this for now. Let's go into our power apps and let's populate the script. So this script will be sitting into our car. And since this script will be sitting into our car, we don't have to import this car game object and we can literally pass it as a game object. So let's create a method. Let's say update and into update, let's create a reference for, of this nitrous script. Let's first say if input dot get key down key code dot left shift we want to call that method so the way we're going to call it is by creating a object of this script and that is very simple we just say nitrous n is equal to new nitrous there we go empty parameters obviously and then we can just say n dot boost so here's where we pass in our objects and for the core we can just pass game object and for the float well we're gonna have to create float let's go up here let's say public float boost force there we go and let's just pass boost force down here and there we go now we have successfully created a boosting mechanism so let's go back into our script and let's see if we've done anything correctly so we have our boost force let's pump that over to like 10,000 for now and let's see if it actually worked. So let's hit play and let's try to boost ourselves. Okay, I was using too little power. So if we boost ourselves 100,000, we're gonna see a result. We're obviously going quicker. As we can see into this KPH, we can boost infinite amount of times, which we don't want. Okay, so that is the very first success. Let's next create a mechanism that will change the FOV of our camera right here. So in order for this to work, we are going to have to use this camera controller. And the reason for that is because we constantly want to change the camera FOV. So if you've imported my camera controller up here, we're going to see that we have a field of view up here. So here is where we update our field of view. And what we want to do is we want to create a fixed update, or actually we can use the simple update and let's just create a smooth damp function. Or actually let's use a lerp function. So to do that, we can say camera dot field of view is equal to math f dot lerp. We want to lerp the current field of view. So we're going to have to pass the camera dot field of view into the desired field of view or the stock field of view, which should be at 68. So let's say field of view down here, which is 68. And we want a time frame. So the time will actually be variable because I don't know the perfect time. So let's create a public 
temp and let's say 10 for now it's obviously a float value and let's put temp times time dot delta time there we go now we have successfully created a lerping mechanism so let's save that let's go back into nitrous and every time we click this we want to reference the camera so let's say camera camera and from the camera we want to say camera dot field of view is plus equal to 20 or if you don't want a fixed value we can import another float let's say float and we can pass the field of view down here so there we go now it's showing us an error because we are not using a camera so to get a reference to the camera is actually very easy we can use a tag and what we can do is say public camera camera and in the start we're going to say camera is equal to find object of type camera and there we go we have our camera let's use the camera down here let's say camera and let's create another float called field of view and there we go let's see if it actually worked we should have no errors and if we hit play we should see the camera actually importing in here and if we click shift actually let's set this field of view to 10. okay so now if we try to boost we are actually seeing a error something is wrong in here okay so the error is that i'm setting the field of view in here and i'm immediately setting the field of view back into the main value so let's just comment this line out let's see if it did anything so now if we hit boost we should see it is actually boosting very very nicely we can set that this temp value to whatever we want so this temp value controls how quickly the camera will return into its place so let's leave it to like three a bit i guess so if we're going say very very quickly let's actually change gears okay so that is the very first power up that we built it's not perfect obviously but we're gonna improve it into the upcoming video so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode